Hey, Club and welcome to Thailand News Today. Out and about today, a little bit of rain in the sky, but we'll keep persisting. Also, these people over here waiting for their long tail boat to uh, come and take them to wherever they're going. Great way to get around the city of Bangkok along the many canals. Now, about yesterday's program, a few little apologies for the sound. It was our first day back. We were in a bit of a rush, but for now, let's check today's main news stories. We'll start off with some good news today, and that's that there might be another long weekend coming up. Now, the last long weekend, they had a four-day long weekend, added so much revenue to the economy, the officials in Bangkok think, well, that's a good idea, we might have another long weekend. The four-day weekend earlier this month, a replacement for the annual Songkran holiday, circulated some 8.8 .8 billion baht in revenue, according to the Tourism Authority of Thailand. The Deputy PM Wisanu Kriyanam says the cabinet has talked about another holiday, most likely a four day long weekend again. And the idea has been passed on to PM Prayut Chanachar. Wisanu says the long weekend might be scheduled for November since there are no public holidays scheduled during that month. Good timing as the, uh, the long tail boat comes and picks up its passengers. As I said, it's a great way to get around Bangkok. A couple of sad news stories now, starting with a Suratani mother who has allegedly slashed her three-year-old daughter's throat while sleeping at their rubber plantation house in Suratani last night. Police say they found the child dead on the mattress, soaked in blood. They say the child's throat had a deep cut. The 43-year-old mother had already admitted to the murder, according to police. According to the woman's husband, she had a panic attack the night before saying that she was worried her daughters may be gang raped. The man said he was sleeping in another bed, but awoke to find his wife trying to cut her own throat. He quickly took away the knife, but saw his three-year-old daughter laying in a pool of blood and called the police. The family moved from the Isan province down to Suratani to work as rubber tappers. The family had three children. The other sad news story, a 20-year-old Patalung man has allegedly killed his 23-year-old girlfriend by smashing her head in, apparently because she asked to split up from him. Patalung police say they received reports of a female corpse being found packed inside a cage outside a house in the north of the southern Thailand province. The body was found laying face down with a critical injury to the head. Police estimate the woman must have been killed at least nine hours before. Neighbours told police the couple had been quarrelling often, but paid little attention because, well, they were always fighting. The man initially denied being involved in the case, but police say he confessed to the assault after a long interrogation. Well, the coronavirus pandemic here in Thailand has caused an increase in business closures up 40%. The bad news is officials think that number will go higher. Many of those businesses were in the tourism industry, leading to the highest unemployment rate in the past 10 years. From June to July, business closures went up by 38% compared to the numbers at the same time last year, according to the Economic Intelligence Centre. Even worse, they expect higher numbers in the second half of the year, according to the economic decline brought on by the responses to the pandemic. As of mid-August, 13,400 businesses had already closed their doors. While some people lost their jobs during the pandemic, many people faced lower work hours. And as the rain keeps falling, the government has set a seven-day deadline on investigations into the botched investigation into the Vodoyut Bos Yulvidja case that goes all the way back to 2012 and the uh, controversial hit-and-run case. Deputy PM Wisanu Kriyanam says the Office of Public Sector Anti-Corruption Commission had not yet informed him of its progress, but he understands it might not be able to meet the deadline given the scale of its probe. Audio recordings of investigators, Boss and his lawyers, have also surfaced and are under investigation. Other government agencies that must report back to the Deputy PM include the Office of the Attorney General, the Royal Thai Police, the National Anti-Corruption Commission, the Department of Special Investigation and the Lawyers' Council of Thailand. Boss, now 35, was driving the family silver Ferrari when it hit and killed a 47-year-old police officer whilst he was riding on his motorcycle on Sukhumvit Road in Tonglor in the early hours of September the 3rd, 2012. 
after the statute of limitations clock ran out on other charges, the most serious charge, reckless driving causing death, was dropped in July this year by the Office of the Attorney General, sparking widespread outrage and the broad investigation into the case. As for Boss, he remains a fugitive living overseas. Okay, the rain's getting heavier. We need to finish. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Don't forget that you can catch... Look at the script, would you? <laughs> Don't forget that you can catch up with all the news every day at thetiger.com. Thanks for joining us. Let's hope for some blue sky tomorrow.